This is actually my scene. So the medieval reenactment scene in Australia is roughly about 30 years old. This is something for most people has no real connection to the history. Most of us are Australians by many generations. And Europeans find it fascinating that Australians recreate in a land that has no medieval European history so many angles of history. So you go back to the early medieval period of Vikings and Saxons and those in Constantinople right through to the high middle ages, knights in armor, jousting and the renaissance period with singing and dancing and good foods and beautiful costumes. How did I get into jousting? Well, there's a story. I was about 40 and I was uh, on the internet one day and I just always interested in medieval things and then one day it just popped up. There are guys in Australia that joust and, uh, you know, it was one of those light bulb moments that started a whole kind of uh, left wheel in my life where I just saw it and loved it and just desperately wanted to do it. The jousting community uh, I would describe as being fairly small but very, very close-knit because after all, what we do is exceedingly dangerous and so unlike most sports where it's very competitive and you're trying to eye the other guy off and get the advantage, there's a certain level of uh, chivalry still involved with it because you know, we, we strive very strongly to keep each other safe and as we are a small community we don't take advantage of each other and so you know, we make sure that we're safe with our opponents, that we present a good target. It is the only sport that has no defence, so you know, we're very, very careful with what we do. It's a martial art, it's history, it's art, uh, and you know, thereby I think it's probably one of the most spectacular sports around today. What is it that really binds these people? I think it's a real sense of family and community. Even if it's just you and no one else in your family is interested, you find a family, you find a family unit, and the enjoyment of learning how to fight, how to make armor, how to make costuming, how to wear it properly, how to eat foods, all of that means there's such a wide variety of opportunity to be in a family and to share it. So I'm Sarah Brown. I'm Amy McClennett and this is my wool-weighted loom. And I take my weaving sword and where you see this loose thread up here, what I do is I beat that so I've got a nice sturdy fabric. We've got two boys and they've grown up in reenactment. Basically, you know, like when we, our club had our 35th anniversary and my eldest son wrote in the book, I didn't choose to be in this club, you know, like, but you know, that's been my whole life pretty much. And so, you know, they, they you know, make friendships with those people they only see once a year and they kind of rebond and, and you know, it's just normal to them. We're friends with uh, people all over the world now. Like, um, you are regularly communicating with people in different countries on Facebook and all these different mediums. So the world is a small community now compared to what it used to be. No, around the world and in Australia of course, there's people who make beautiful things, leather work, fabric, who dye things by natural means are interested in reviving those arts and crafts because people like us are using and wearing them. That extends the community to them as well. You're talking more like the slow living kind of movement, which this kind of ties into that. So we, we take the weekends away from modern interferences, we put the mobiles away, get off social media, and just like modern people going camping, 
you get that break from society. Well, this forces an even more in-depth and integrated part of a break in your life. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of detachment from the worries of modern life and all that kind of stuff and getting back to something a bit simpler, you know, making your own food, making your own fabric, you know, doing the crafts, you know, kind of knowing the level of effort that goes into creating something is, is really nice. It gives a real sense of entertainment and education. Two things which I think are really important to your growth as a person. A mention of some of the great activities and things you can see.